How easy is it to prep an apartment? So the real question is, how does one adapt a self-reliable lifestyle to an urban slash suburban setting, especially in an apartment complex such as mine? One of the things I did was I scoured the internet and I looked at some of the biggest challenges um, one can expect from trying to prep an apartment. And this is, these are challenges that I identify with that I have encountered. So starting with the first one, um, finding enough space to store emergency supplies. One of the biggest challenges is finding a place to um, store your emergency preps um, without them really getting in the way. It's important when you have, live in an apartment and you're trying to prep that you find a way to first analyze the space you have, but also figure out a way to utilize spaces and little cubbies that you couldn't have um, utilized before. Some of those would be, you know, closets, you know, spaces under your bed, um, cabinets, you know, tote bins. You know, buying tote bins, I mean, for me is, you know, a godsend. It, it keeps all my preps organized for me. Um, it keeps them in little kits that I can't break out should the, time, um, the need arise. Second challenge is finding the money to prep. Um, so managing your money and taking care of what needs to be taken care of and setting aside any extra is very important. So you need to, so you need to set, um, want to establish a budget. I mean, if you're living in an apartment complex, you need to have a budget anyway. But you also need a budget for your prepping because um, whatever money you have left over, you need to then decide what you want to do with that money. Do you want to just save it or do you want to invest that in prepping items and, you know, like food, water, ammunition, um, gasoline, you know, thanks to the pipeline shutdown. So, you know, it's things you, these, it's those things you want to consider. Things you want, to, you know, that um, ultimately may set you, I mean, for the short term, may set you back a couple bucks, but ultimately should whatever come up, you'll basically, you'll be in a good position to ride out that storm um, and thrive in a survival situation. It's good to consider, again, what you need versus what you want and prep along those bounds. It's not, it's okay to get what you want, but that should never take precedence over what you need. So I will agree that security is, is another top priority because you know, you can buy whatever you need, you can acquire the resources that you have, but if you can't protect it, and you can't keep others from taking it from you, then kind of feeds the purpose of it. You need to identify the security threats to your apartment. You need to, you know, is the neighbor next door a, a potential a potential threat? Um, do they spy on you? Um, what about your view? Can people look into your apartment through your window and see what you have? Um, can they access your apartment? You know, do they have to come through the front door or do they have to come through, you know, a back window? You know, do you live on the first floor or the top floor? You know. You need to assess these security threats and adjust accordingly. So moving on to number four, knowing when to stay and when to go. So you've gone through, um, you've wargamed um, your security threats, you've uh, figured out your budget, you know what you need, what you don't need, and you figured out the whole space issue. Well, one of the biggest things you need to consider is when you should stay and when you should go. Because, you know, not gonna lie, an apartment complex is really not the best place to ride out as a true SHTS situation. Short term disaster, fine. But in long but a mid-term to long term disaster situation, not a best place. When people get get desperate, they're gonna start going door to door. And you don't want to be that close to other people who may be willing to do that. So, you know, it's best to know when you should leave and when to stay. I believe, um, I believe urban prepper, city prepper, um, did a video regarding when to stay and when to go, when to bug in and when to bug out. So I'll have to include their description in the link below. Um, I, have to, I have to include a link in the description below. Um, but that's very key. You know, you want to make sure your preps are mobile. You want to make sure that what, what you have um, can be thrown in the trunk of a car and taken with you wherever you need to go. So um, you need to consider that. So in general, when it comes to uh, when it comes to apartment prepping, you need to understand all the challenges that go in, and really, that's just the main ones. That's not really going into a lot of the deeper challenges and problems that arise from apartment prepping. Now, I said that. Now that being said, I'm not saying that apartment prepping is um, too hard to manage. No, you can manage it quite easily. Frankly, it's going to be the future. This is this is where we're headed to as a as a people. Uh, more urban settings 
more people living in the urban setting. So these things are necessary. You need to figure these things out. Um, so um, from my experience, apartment prepping is not hard, is not super hard. It's not super difficult. It's just a matter of addressing these challenges head on, figuring them out to the best of your ability. Anyway, that's all I got to say today. You know my motto. Now you know. Knowing is half the battle.